I haven't really played a lot of mutation missions lately. Should we have a look? Obviously, we do want to set up Brutal. Only if you're an expert at StarCraft. Okay, fair enough. Um, let us have a look at the mutation mission. So, it's called Infection Detected. Mal Warfare. Alien Incubation. All enemy units spawn Brute Links upon death. Okay. We have Outbreak. Enemy infested Terrans spawn continuously around the map. And now we have Self-Destruction. Enemy units explode and deal damage to nearby player units upon death. So, long story short, lots of things will spawn. And then everything that spawns on top of the regular units that also spawn will explode and deal area damage. Hmm. Okay, so first thing that I'm immediately leading towards is someone like, for example, Mr. Stukov. Who doesn't really care about losing his units. But I kind of feel like I've played him in so many mutation missions at this point that I, I want to I wanna go for something else. What about... What about Tigus and then good old Blaze Lewis? Blaze Lewis has got an upgrade that allows him to spread the wildfire around from targets that are affected with the oil and stuff. It's... I think that might be cool. Okay, so I've grouped up together with Yorono, who's saying... You, you can't see it. I'm, I'm, I'm covering it. But he says, I'll go mass cannon. So he's going with, uh, with Zeratul. So you'll have to solo early game. Okay. Um, I have to preface this by saying that I haven't played a whole lot of Tigers lately. It's actually been quite some time since I last played him. But you know what? I feel, I feel, you know, I feel confident. I mean, it's only the hardest difficulty plus a mutation mission that sounds pretty tricky. Eh. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, it's Mal Warfare. Okay, cool. I knew that. I just didn't realize exactly which of the maps it was. Purifiers were born here, converted from the personalities of great warriors. But one of them was merely a prisoner at Tau Jareen. I think I'm still gonna go Tigers first. I probably should. managed to infiltrate our systems and turn them against us. I can undo the damage, but I will need your help. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and build Tigers first right now and get some of his upgrades before getting Blaze out. I think that might be a good idea. So Zero two, calm down, mate. Zero two, absolutely freaking out. But I think that's gonna be okay. Uh, let's go ahead and just hot heal all of these structures together. I found that to be quite useful. It's kind of funny. Like, I played most of my time with Zero two, or rather with Tigus, when he first was released as a co-op commander. And then usually, since I played him a whole lot for like the first week or two, I take a bit of a break from them that can last like a year. <laughs> It's been a little while since the last played this commander, but... I'm gonna go ahead and uh, build a quick expansion, see if that's possible. Uh, I don't know. We'll fly it over. I need my friend Tigus first. Alright. So, Tigus will come out in just a little bit. There's a couple good upgrades that he's got. Especially, like, um, the, the implosion core is very nice. I think I'm gonna go Blaze second, though. Blaze second is probably a good idea. But uh, we'll try and secure some early game economy first. It takes a long time to max out on all the upgrades. Do -do 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 -do. Come on! Hey, Tigus! Psst. You want a cookie? I've got a cigar! It's oh. It's about damn time. Good. Alright, let's go. New subscriber detected. That was the best grenade I've ever thrown. Hey, thank you very much, Met Student, for the support. Unfortunately, the Tal Dream was quite thorough. Ooh. There's a lot of explosions, though. We are certainly gonna need a little bit more than what I've got right now. Uh, let's build the muscle armory. I'm gonna need healing as well. They appear as holographic warriors of many races. I... I'm not convinced. I'm gonna go ahead and actually not get the upgrades first. I think getting the upgrades first is not necessarily the best idea. Because I'm certainly gonna need a little bit of tankiness. Uh, let's go ahead and get Mr. Blaze out. So there's a couple good upgrades that he's got. The Wild Flame Fuel Additives, that's what we're looking for right here. He's also very tanky, though, which is also nice. Transport on route. Okay. You can, you can bark all day. 
Yeah, look how much damage just that one Immortal deals. When you don't have your upgrades, these dudes can certainly be a little bit, a little bit weaker. It's like playing a MOBA right now, except I'm the whole team. <laughs> All right. Let's get the Wild Flame. Yes. Just a transport. It has no shields to defend me from these strikes. I require a system defenses have been activated against. Me. Um, when can I pick up new another one? Okay, cool. I think I want to get Lieutenant Nikara if I can. That would be really nice. Oh, the wild flame additives are or the wild flame additives are really nice as well, though. Yeah, let's go ahead and just continue upgrading Blaze a little bit more. He seems good. Okay, we're gonna save up right now. Can I send them back to like the Hall of Storms or whatever it's called? Let them heal up. This kind of looks like a Hall of Storms. Okay, we're just gonna save up right now. I should at least attack once with Blaze though, so the little flame thing gets activated. Okay, got Lieutenant Nakara. There we go. Now we go back to uh, making some more workers. And now with Lieutenant Nakara joining the fray, this is going to make life a little bit easier for us. Okay, let's go ahead and get some upgrades. I think I'm actually gonna go double upgrades. I don't remember actually if you want to go double upgrades on this commander. I don't think it's a terrible idea. It's just that everything is real expensive, so we really need to try and, uh, and get the upgrades done. Well, there's a lot of scary things though. The oil spills are uh, are certainly the way to go. Dude, actually, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get these upgrades first, and then we're even gonna queue up this one as well because they're all very cheap, and we may as well. Okay, let's go ahead and get these things saturated. And uh, Lieutenant Nakara obviously heals herself as well, so I think I can go ahead and get these upgrades instead. Pretty good, though. I think the early game is one of the more important parts here. Once we get a lot of upgrades, life's gonna be easier, but already I'm better right now at tanking a lot of the damage. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and take the main path. Yep. Let's save up until 1200 minerals. Oh god, really? It's a little dramatic here, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. I figured he was going to defend using the photons, but this works as well. Very good. Blaze is now going to take far less damage, which is nice. Uh, and we also want to get the other upgrade here in a little bit. Sick is used right there. Oh, actually, some units came in. I was going to say, I think I wasted my uh, 350 millimeter cannon. But... Okay. I'll go ahead and purchase the first one of the upgrades. It's a little expensive, but you know what? It's a, it's a, it's a late game investment for my bonus experience. That's always the thing that kind of confused me about playing co-op. You get like 2,000 experience for the bonus XP, and for completing the mission on Brutal, you get like 185,000. It's, it's pretty... It's pretty crazy. Alright. 
Getting some upgrades right now for Tigers. Very good. And right now we can start tanking quite a lot of the damage as well. We can even start thinking about what... What one of the heroes we can get next. I think someone like Vega might be nice. With the uh, improved storm thing. But I can also just go ahead and upgrade continuously here instead. That's not a bad idea. Oh, this is actually pretty rough. Okay. We do need to heal this thing. It, t it heals up in between every trip, so it's alright. Are you okay? Not gonna be able to stop it? Alright. I thought he made a lot of photon cannons. So his photon cannons can teleport, by the way. Which is nice. Um, where's the photons? He wrote GG on the minimap, but... I think he might need to... Uh, there we go. I think he might have needed to like find the next one of the upgrades or something like that. Hey, Mr. Grim! Thank you for the sick donation, man. Thank you for the bits. All right, I should probably also get myself some of those things. Yeah, he wrote GG on the minimap. Uh, no. No, no, it is the critical. This one's super low, though, man. Yeah, we need... Ugh. I like the GG, don't get me wrong. But this is a bit risky. Oh, man. There's a lot of explosions underneath the transport as well, so I guess I need to be extremely cautious here. Oh man, these like these explosions of the of the of the what is it called? The phoenixes may actually give us a lot of trouble because they just fly forward and then explode right on top of the thing. All right, I think we're okay though. Three seconds and then it's gonna heal up. Good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get all of the upgrades. There we go. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and continue walking over towards the next objective. And now with uh, a couple of those uh, medivex around as well, we can use those to get our party together faster. Who do I want to make? I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm gonna make, uh, no, it's Nux actually. Sorry, I thought it was uh, Vega. Vega is very strong as well. But I think Nux is going to be a little bit more foolproof. Okay. We must guide it with the utmost attention. Okay, very good. So I've got a new one here, Nux. He's got a supersonic storm kind of thing. Oh. Very good. 1,200 minerals? How much money do you think I have, game? So this is like a, a better version of Storm, basically. But right now, with this much healing from, uh, from, uh... Lieutenant Nikara, we should be able to stay alive pretty smoothly. Uh, Blaze, are you stuck, mate? Yeah, we don't even need to worry anymore about the explosions at this point. Um, I mean, I kind of don't even mind getting Vega at this point. It's not a bad idea. These uh, big hybrids, though, they certainly do a lot of damage. Okay, that wave is going to be cleaned up real nice by my ally. Very nice. Great. Yeah, the early game certainly was our biggest problem here. We just have to be careful though, because the only thing it takes for us to lose... Donation accepted. Ooh, thank you for the support, Mr. Grim. Wow, that's a lot of bits. That is $26 worth of bits. Thank you for the generosity. 
Appreciate that, sir. Thank you. I was going to say, the only thing it takes for us to lose right now is losing this transport. So we have to prevent that. If that happens, even though we are in a, a really good spot right now, we still lose the game. So that is our top priority right now. Okay, very good. Having that high ground vision over here. Okay, nice. Uh, let's get the next upgrade. There we go. Ooh, that stun is pretty critical. Otherwise, the explosions happen right there on top of the uh, of the transport. We don't want that. Okay, guys, come on, stop derping. <laughs> Oh, the damage output is insane at this point. Very nice. So who else are we going to build? We can make a couple. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and still make Vega. Why not? Vega's always nice. She's going to have to walk, though. Sorry, Vega. Yeah, Zeratul's photon cannons are ridiculously good. Got a lot of spells to cast. A lot of explosions. Okay. Let's get the upgrades right here as well for Vega. Alright, nice. It's time for the final terminal. I like the little guitar riff that plays every time. Mind controlling a couple of the high value targets right now. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, that's really bad, actually. It took like, what? A third of its damage or a third of its life? In damage there. Oh, wow. What? Lieutenant Nakara can heal it? Is she healing it? Oh, no. I thought she was for a second. That would have been something. Maybe she did. I'm not sure. What if I mind control a medic? Do you think? If I mind control an SCV, can it repair it? Okay, you know what? We're going to go out and pick up some of these things. Okay. So all we need to do right now, now that we have all of the bonus objectives done as well, is defend this final objective point. Now sometimes there's a group of units that walk from the high ground to watch the low ground, which is real scary. Sometimes, especially with towers and stuff, the AI gets a little bit messed up. So I'm using my uh, my Odin right here as a panic button, which I'm gonna activate immediately. <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes you get into a weird spot. Anyways, time for the big red button. Here we go. Bam. Very good. That was a lot of damage. Your ally's base is in trouble. My ally's base is in trouble. Oh, huh? For some reason, I thought it was over there. Am I an idiot? Okay, it's all right. We're just BMing aim on right now by hitting him in the face as hard as possible. These suppression towers have a lot of damage at this point, though. A lot of hit points as well. Okay, I think the next one is going to be up on this high ground, right? Right now, though, these photon cannons are really nice as well for tanking. Uh, we're actually gonna head back. 
I was gonna say this is a bit risky. Very good. Multiple suppression towers are readying attacks. Intervention is necessary. This is risky. Oh, well, this doesn't help me very much. <laughs> now I can't reach it. But the photon cannons, I guess, eventually are going to be able to make short work of this. Just got to pay attention here. Sometimes units still come walking from the high ground, though. I've lost games before at this point, and it's really easy. Sometimes, like, a group of units walk from this high ground where you don't pay attention. And they absolutely smash it. But it might be different right now because most of the structures have been killed there. But I think, with only 10 seconds left on the clock, that we have successfully obtained the victory. There we have it! Very good. No trace of the Taldarim personality remains. It appears he is truly dead at last. Fine work, commanders. Alrighty, so what I'm really curious about, right, as we get that sweet bonus experience. So we got 239,000 in total, and we did do the bonus experience as well, which is 2,000. I feel like they really need to up that. But anyways, how much damage did I do in comparison to him? Yeah, dude, in the end, the amount of damage that those, what are they called, the projected photon cannons deal, are pretty ridiculous. Right, look at that. Even though I feel like we did a lot of damage, slowly but surely, they started dominating the battlefield there, near the end.